Always wanted to own my own business, and I guess that's a dream a lot of people have. And uh, decided that it, there wasn't um, but one small machine shop down here. And uh, Briggs and Stratton was starting a new plant here, and I knew I could do their work. So um, I decided within one month, I decided to open up a business. We we would do what other companies wouldn't do. If if it took doing the job at nine or ten o'clock at night, we did it. Uh, and they would, they would keep on rolling. They, they, their machines weren't down or they weren't down for very long. Um, and I think they recognized that we were here for the long haul. And we were, we were here to do good work uh, at a fair price. When I started in 1995, um, I had all manual machines. And probably the first uh, six to eight months, uh, we did just manual, uh, using manual equipment. What happened was they started coming up with more and more complicated parts to make, and some you just cannot do on a manual machine. Mike O'Neill uh, was my salesman, and still is, and came in and um, he said, what, what can I do to make this happen? And I pretty much told him, this is what I need to do, and, uh, and he got it done. We, we got into the guitars about five years ago. We, um, actually uh, did R&D for about two years and then uh, decided that our product was at the point uh, that we could actually sell it. Um, we, we gave it uh, to several people that are musicians and had them try it and uh, give us feedback. When you make something um, as an instrument, uh, it's got to be right. And we knew putting them on the Mazak, uh, they were going to, what we program is going to come out. Uh, they're very accurate machines. Uh, we're doing the bodies uh, and all the back plates, um, some accessories that we're, we're making. Uh, we actually do some, uh, some of the stands. We make custom stands, and so that's also done on, on the Mazak. The guys uh, can go from one machine to the other, so we're, we're able to use uh, the process on any of our Mazaks because they're, they're all basically, they're running the same, the same programs. So um, it was just, a, it was just a, 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 a fact that Mazak just made great machines that could produce the parts that we needed. Uh, in fact, we just bought a, a lathe that um, we make so many parts that we're running it now unattended at night. Uh, we've got a bar feeder and a conveyor and, and uh, um, a chip um, offloader. And, um, and it runs, like I said, come in in the morning and still, you hear it back there humming away, making parts. Uh, the, you know, the lights out uh, aspect was, uh, was a big step for us. Uh, we, we have run a third or a second shift before, but, uh, and then thought about a third at one time, but we cut back to just one shift. What makes that possible now is the fact that we do have lights out capability. Um, and could, because we were, we were getting behind on, on some parts that we needed to run more hours. And I really didn't, didn't uh, look forward to starting up another second shift. So again, the Bazak was the answer. We knew uh, IMTS was coming up uh, and um, thought, what, you know, what can we do to have a presence there? And so uh, I talked to some people at Mazak and Mike O'Neill was one of them said, what do you think about uh, if we produced uh, a guitar that had the Mazak logo on it? We came up with uh, the design and we, we actually used the arch top uh, design and reversed the Mazak. Instead of machining it in the guitar, we actually machined it out from the guitar. So it, it actually produced itself out from the guitar. And it just, it just made, a, made a statement. Now I've been to Kentucky uh, to the Mazak facility twice. Uh, this last time I went, um, it, was, it was a great experience again. They're using all Mazaks to produce the Mazaks, which is, says you know, the most about a company. You know, if they're using their own machines to make their machines, then what does that tell you? I mean, they make great machines. I think we all know that it's, it's once you, you buy something and if you like the product and it does what it's supposed to, you're going to stay with that product. And the Mazaks were we're doing the job, you know, day in and day out. So that's why we, we have stayed with, with Mazak. Oh.